Have you ever wondered how your car, motorcycle, or even a lawn mower engine works? The secret lies in a simple but powerful process called the four-stroke cycle. The four-stroke cycle is the process that most gasoline and diesel engines use to convert fuel into motion. It's used in cars, motorcycles, lawnmowers, and many other machines. The reason it's called four-stroke is because the engine completes four distinct steps in one full cycle. To understand this, let's break it down step by step and explain how each stroke works to keep your engine running smoothly. Before we dive into the cycle, let's quickly go over some key parts of the engine that make this process possible. First, we have the cylinder. This is the chamber where the fuel burns. Think of it as the heart of the engine, where all the action happens. Inside the cylinder, there's a piston. The piston moves up and down, controlling the air and fuel inside. Now, the crankshaft comes into play. It takes that up and down movement of the piston and turns it into rotational power, which eventually makes the wheels move. To control what goes in and out of the cylinder, we have valves. These valves open and close at the right time, allowing air and fuel to enter and letting exhaust gases escape. And finally, for gasoline engines, there's the spark plug. This tiny but powerful part creates a spark to ignite the fuel, setting off the controlled explosion that drives the engine. These five components work together to power your car, motorcycle, or any machine that runs on a four-stroke engine. Now, Let's see how they all come to life in the four-stroke cycle. The first step in the four-stroke cycle is the intake stroke, also called the suck phase. The piston moves down inside the cylinder, creating space for fresh fuel and air. At the same time, the intake valve opens, allowing a carefully measured mixture of fuel and air to rush in. As the cylinder fills up, it's getting ready for the next step, compression. Think of this as the engine taking a deep breath. This step is crucial because the right amount of air and fuel determines how efficiently the engine will run. Now that the engine has taken in the fuel, it's time to squeeze it tight for maximum power. Let's move on to the compression stroke. Now that the cylinder is filled with fuel and air, it's time for the compression stroke, also known as the squeeze phase. The piston moves up again, squeezing the air-fuel mixture into a smaller and tighter space inside the cylinder. At this moment, the intake valve closes, sealing the mixture inside. No more air or fuel can enter. What's inside is now trapped and ready for ignition. As the piston keeps rising, the mixture gets highly compressed, which increases both pressure and temperature. But why is this important? Because compressed fuel burns better. When fuel is tightly packed, it ignites more easily and produces a stronger explosion, releasing more energy. And that leads us to the most exciting step, the power stroke, where all that stored energy is unleashed. Now comes the most exciting part, the power stroke, also known as the bang phase. At the very top of the stroke, the spark plug fires in gasoline engines, igniting the tightly compressed fuel. Boom! The explosion creates a powerful force, pushing the piston down with incredible speed. This downward motion is what turns the crankshaft, which then powers the wheels and moves the vehicle forward. This is the most important stroke because it's the one that actually produces power to drive the engine. Now, in diesel engines, 
Things work a little differently. Instead of a spark plug, the fuel ignites just from the heat of compression. The air inside gets so hot that when fuel is injected, it bursts into flames instantly. With all that power released, the engine is almost ready for the next cycle. But first, it needs to get rid of the burned fuel, and that's where the exhaust stroke comes in. Finally, we have the exhaust stroke, also known as the blow phase. After all that power is released, the engine needs to clear out the burned gases, just like exhaling after a deep breath. The piston moves up again, pushing the used gases toward the top of the cylinder. At the same time, the exhaust valve opens, creating an exit path for the burned gases. These gases are then forced out through the exhaust pipe, making room for fresh air and fuel for the next cycle. Think of this as the engine breathing out, getting rid of what it doesn't need before starting the process all over again. The four-stroke cycle keeps repeating, turning fuel into motion and keeping your engine running. So how does the engine keep running? It all comes down to the crankshaft. The crankshaft is connected to the pistons, keeping them moving up and down in a perfectly synchronized rhythm. This four-stroke cycle isn't just happening once. It's repeating thousands of times per minute, keeping the engine running smoothly. And if the engine has multiple cylinders, they don't all fire at the same time. Instead, they work in a staggered cycle. For example, while one piston is in the intake stroke, another might be in the power stroke, ensuring a constant flow of power. This staggered movement keeps the engine balanced, powerful, and efficient, allowing your vehicle to run smoothly without interruption. And that's how the four-stroke cycle keeps everything in motion. So why is the four-stroke cycle used in most modern engines? Simple. It's better in almost every way. First, it's more efficient than older two-stroke engines. Since it burns fuel more completely, it gives you better mileage and more power per drop of fuel. Second, it produces less pollution. Because the fuel burns cleaner, it helps reduce harmful emissions, making it more environmentally friendly. And finally, it's more durable. A four-stroke engine lasts longer and requires less maintenance, saving you time and money in the long run. This is why almost all modern cars and motorcycles use four-stroke engines. They're powerful, efficient, and built to last. Each stroke plays an important role in making your engine run efficiently and smoothly. Next time you start your car or ride your motorcycle, remember, inside that engine, tiny controlled explosions are happening thousands of times per minute. If you'd like a PDF study document to help review this topic, comment below and let me know what you learned from this video. And as always, remember to learn something new every day.